Hey, welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. We've got uh, a good tutorial today, conditional mode change in Photoshop. It's probably something in all likelihood you've never heard of before. Let's take a look at it. Before we get started though, this tutorial is sponsored by our good friends over at WP Engine. They've got WordPress hosting plans. It's a server tuned just for WordPress. I have hosted tutvid.com on them for a few years. They're great. Go check out tutvid.com slash WP hyphen engine. There's a link down in the description of the video. Great stuff. I'd love it if you check it out. All right, so conditional mode change. Let's check this out. Under the file menu, uh, under automate, we have conditional mode change. It's a way of telling Photoshop, look, if my image is, let's say, grayscale or index color or RGB or whatever you want, change it to a different color mode, such as CMYK, and I can hit OK, and it's going to say, hey, look, you're about to convert to CMYK, blah, 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 I can hit OK, and you can see now our document is CMYK, but you may be saying, I can do that easily just by going image mode and saying, hey, boom, CMYK, same thing happens, voila, right? Well, the nice thing about the conditional mode change is it's a very easy way to bake this into uh, an action, so we can go window actions, and let's just create a new action here under this Tutvid color grade grouping. So we hit new action. I'm going to call it just mode change or something. And I'm going to hit record. And I'm immediately going to stop the recording. And what I'll do, and this is the way I like to do this, you can just actually record the file, automate, yada, yada, yada. But you have a little bit more control here. If you hit the flyout menu and choose insert menu item, and a little pop-up will say, look, uh, there's no menu item selected. So we're going to go file, automate, and choose conditional mode change. And it's going to say, all right, great. So you set the conditional mode change. We can hit OK. All right, now nothing's really happened here on the conditional mode change. We've just inserted this as a menu item. So if we double click on this, it's going to open conditional mode change. If you've ever opened a GIF file um, or maybe a BMP file or something you've scanned into Photoshop, something like that, a lot of times it's indexed color and not RGB, and that makes it difficult to use different adjustment layers, things like that. So you can just select a specific source mode. So like, if it is an indexed color, go ahead and convert it to RGB, right? Or we can just select them all. We don't need to select RGB though, because if it's already RGB, well, it's already RGB. So we select all but RGB. So we say, look, if it's anything, just go ahead and convert it to RGB. We want every image that we bring in here to be converted to RGB. Actually, you know what? I'm going to flip this. I'm going to say, set these to CMYK and I'm going to hit OK. All right, so it's going to say, look, you're about to convert to CMYK, OK, because what's happening is our document has also converted to CMYK because we just executed that menu option. But if I hit this little fly down menu, you can see sure enough here in the actions panel, it says, look, if the source mode is bitmap grayscale, do it to an index RGB lab multi-channel, go ahead and convert it to the target mode of CMYK. So what this means is I can run an action that is going to convert a huge batch of images, no matter what color space, to a specific color space that I'm using. I don't have to worry about that aspect going into image mode and changing um, my, uh, my, my color mode, essentially, my color space, if you will, um, anymore. I can just deal with this within the action. It keeps things simple and fast. And uh, yeah, that's it. So automate, conditional mode change, and for conditional mode change, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodds and Tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.